For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Hello everybody out there. Uh, this is the tittle of the day for today. And um, today, I kind of talked about this before, but um, <clears throat> about um, racism and stuff and how there's really no use in racism because we can see in Acts 17, 26, it says, and hath God, speaking of the Father here, hath made of one blood all nations of men uh, for to dwell on the face of the earth and hath uh, determined the times before appointed and bounds of their habitation. So if everyone is born of one blood, which I guess it would be Noah's blood and Noah's family, right? Then there's either just the seed of the servant, the blood of the servant, or the blood of, you know, Jesus fixing our DNA, right? And all of us. So I talked about that before. But then it's sort of making me think, well, how come that there are different people look different ways and that's what people categorize different people up in races and I thought well how did that come about because Jesus uh, uh, the Father and the Son they all and the Holy Ghost they all um, are part of all the creation right they create everything so it's for a purpose that people look like that and I think I figured out what that is uh, I talked about it a little bit before but I want to talk about it more now so we can see in Genesis 11 I think this is where it happened. And we can go 1 through 9, which is this. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Okay, so if you think about it, <clears throat> pretty much I believe at this point everyone would have looked the same. Um, not the same way as Adam and Eve would have looked because when, when Moses went up on Mount Sion and he saw God, he was in the presence of God, right, the Father, his, he shone, his face shone, right, he glowed like light. And some people say that means horns or whatever, but I believe he shone like light. So the same thing I believe Adam and Eve would have been in the same way. They would have glowed from having you know, the Holy Ghost in them until the fall, but also being in the presence of the Father, or the Trinity, the Godhead, they would have shone that way too. They would have glowed like light, and it probably did something to their skin also. Um, so I believe that most of these people would have still had that type of characteristic in their skin color or type, or whatever you want to call it. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city, and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. So they were using 100% of their brain, right? And I believe also that what's fixing to happen is he's going to confound the languages, but he's also going to confound their brain, okay, to where a lot of people would say that we only use 10% of our brains. And if anything in their imagination they could do, in the same way Jesus said, if you just have faith, you can move, you know, a mountains if you want or whatever, you know. So in the same way they had that ability back then. But God, the, the Trinity, the Godhead is fixing to, to wipe that out. Because they were doing it for evil. Nimrod wanted to make a portal to God to battle him, right? Go to, let us go down and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Okay, Babel, confusion. <clears throat> okay, now this is what I want, to, uh, want you to think about. If I have my son, Nico and Landon, both of them, 
and we don't speak the same language, right? Our brains are being kung fu, kung fu downed. <laughs> and, um, but I still know what Nico and Landon look like. And I still love them. And I would be tr keep them around me still trying to figure out their new language that they're speaking. Okay? That would have been the same thing as these people. They would have stuck together if it was just their languages that have been messed up. Or even if their brains were messed up somewhat, you know, they still would have recognized each other and stayed around each other. Okay? Now, what if what the Godhead did, the Trinity, was change the way they looked? Each person with their different language look became look looking like each other. Their facial uh, their facial features changed, their skin color changed, and now they go and migrate with each other. You see that even today. You go into a cafeteria like in high school or in work or whatever, um, the black people will go sit with the black people, the white people. I'm not saying everyone does that, but especially if they're unfamiliar with each other, they'll all migrate towards each other, right? Whoever looks familiar to each other, right? So I believe that that's what happened here, that the Lord, he messed up their languages, he messed up the way they looked, he, and he um, messed up their brain, okay? And um, that's why it's called Babel, confusion. It became a physical confusion, uh, uh, a spiritual confusion in the speaking, and um, um, mental soul confusion in the brain being messed up, you see? And that's why all these people went to the same, they, they migrated together, even though I wouldn't have recognized Nico or my ex-wife or whoever anymore, because we didn't look the same. And then they went to different parts of the world. And that's why you have all these people coming from different parts of the world now, right? You see that? I hope that makes sense. I know this is kind of a short video, but I, you know, I've thought about this before and I was like, I believe exactly that's what happened. And that's the explanation of why we have different people who look different ways and why they always want to group together and people call it the racists are grouping together. But it's not really about race, it's just about the way that the Lord divided people, right? And we see now um, with Jesus that all men are coming together. That's why Paul writes, um, there is no Greek or Gentile anymore or barbarian or, you know, Samaritan or Gentile. That's all one. We're all one again. Okay, so from here, every all the people were scattered, but then Jesus brought all the people back together, one spirit, right? Okay, okay. All right, well, thank you guys. We can watch for Yeshua. God is love, and I love God. Amen. Eat my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep.